Hello everybody, this is Tekka. What I'm gonna do in this video is quickly address something that was commented on the previous video, and that is to do with the GitHub trending page. Uh, a lot of you guys, or some of you guys, didn't know that that was even a thing, and that is probably one of the very best things, at least to me, about GitHub is easily exploring all the different software options and some of the popular software that we have available to us on this wonderful platform. So this right here, this is my GitHub. I don't really do too much in the way of actually publishing things. I just have a little theme here. But what we're talking about is the explore section over here. If you go ahead and click on explore, you have a lot of different options here. If you actually have an account and you frequently uh, star things, save things, it'll give you a pretty good list of some things that you might be interested in, including uh, this repository here, which we're going to talk about in just a minute. But what the main focus is, then one of the ways that I find a lot of the software that I end up doing these uh, software highlights on is right here through the trending page. If we give this a click, you can see what the GitHub community is most excited about today. And we have a couple different filter things. So the spoken language, generally, obviously, depending on what your preference is, I go with English. Now language, this is cool. You could pick a specific programming language that you prefer to run, but for me, it's not really that big of a deal. And we have the date range. Now, I'm not really sure how this does its ranking. I'm fairly certain it has to do with how many stars it gets in a certain date range, but this is a good way to find some really cool repositories. So this is just uh, the trending for today. And you see, we have a list of awesome Go applications. We have this one, which I might be interested in, Lap Laps? something like that, a, a lightweight, fast and powerful code editor written in Rust. So it's looking like a lot like VS Code. If I go back over here, scroll down a little bit, we have some uh, learning tools and resources. GFP GAN, which is that uh, AI real world face restoration application I took a look at just yesterday. And that's today and I found that under today you might find a cool thing here or there. You'll mostly find those resources with like books and learning code challenges, things like that. But if I switch this over to the this week or this month, this is where I'll find a lot of a lot of the cool stuff here, <laughs> such as uh, anime girls holding programming books. We have a uh, DDoS attack scripts, Microsoft Power Toys, uh, Yale, which is a, a low code engine to create web services and dashboards. So that's something I might be interested in. You can see here it's relatively up to date, it has a lot of stars, you scroll down, and then you could see it as a low code engine to go ahead and develop whatever you need to develop. And like a lot of these have demos. So if I go and click on this demo here, you could see some of the capabilities or some of the things that you could do with this platform, which is completely free and open source over here on GitHub. Let's head over to this month, see if there's anything cool here. Videos, we have Astro Vim right here. This is a cool one that I might actually make a whole separate video on. Uh, this is Trillium, I believe is how you pronounce it. And this is a uh, cool little note taking application. I haven't played around with it uh, too much, but it does seem like a fairly cool uh, little utility that you could go ahead and use here. And a lot of these, if you go under the resource or the releases, being that this is open source and all that, a lot of these, or at least most of these will have Linux versions, Mac versions, and window versions. And that's not true with everything, but a lot of the stuff on here definitely will. Now, if we go back to this uh, main explore page here real quick, and we go under the collections, this is another really good spot to find some of these or find some applications or things you just might be interested in in general. So we see we have text editors, tools for open source, uh, pixel art tools, a whole bunch of stuff. There's one up here just a little bit, uh, open source organization. So if I went to this, we can see a lot of the open source projects from larger organizations such as uh, Esri, Netflix, Twitter, whatever it may be. Out of all of these, my favorite topic here is the awesome topic, which will give you a list of lists. So you could go ahead and find really whatever it is that you need. So we have the awesome go awesome self hosted awesome self hosted is one of my personal favorites. And this will give you a another list of categorized lists of all the different projects and things we have uh, automation various blogging platforms. And this is how I actually found ghost, which is what I'm using for my main website. And there's a whole lot more, a whole lot to explore. I'm going to include a whole bunch of different links down below. So make sure you check out all of those and have fun discovering some software. Uh, if you like this type of content or you want to see some of these software that I've highlighted, I'll also link to those down below. Subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a beautiful day and goodbye.